In this video, I am going to show you how to solve multi-step equations, and I have some guidelines for you to follow before we start. So I just wanna highlight that for you. So multi-step equations require two or more transformations. And so there's some guidelines to follow when you are working with multi-step equations. So I'm gonna fill out a couple things with you here. First, number one, what you need to do is simplify. Uh, one or maybe both sides of your equation, sometimes separately the sides of the equation if needed. At times you're gonna need to distribute. Sometimes you're going to need to combine like terms. Then number two, we may need to use what is called inverse operations And those inverse operations, what they're gonna do is help you isolate the variable of your equation. Most of the time that variable is x, but not always. So here's some practice, we're gonna practice some writing. So in words, I'm gonna going to describe what needs to happen. Here's our problem that we're gonna be given to solve. And I'm gonna show my work for the problem as I go. So what I'm gonna start with, my first step, is gonna be to distribute this Three. So my step in words, number one, distribute the three. If I start showing my work on how to distribute the three, my problem would now look like this. So if I have four X plus three times the group X minus six, set equal to 10. If I distribute the three first, my equation will now be 4x plus three times x minus six times three, which is 18, and that equals the number 10. My second step that I'm gonna do for solving my equation is going to be combine like terms. I'm going to add my 4x and my 3x together. 4 plus 3x's makes 7x. My equation will then finish with minus 18 set equal to 10. Now my next step is going to be to isolate the x term. So in my next step, I'm going to add 18 to both sides. So if I add 18 to both sides, my new equation will read 7x equals 28. My fourth step will be to divide both sides by seven. If I divide both sides by seven, I will now have x is equal to 28 divided by seven. So my solution is four. Okay. 